Now you have your rocket assembled, ready to fly. But one of the nice things about building your own model rocket is you can make it look the way you want it to look. We take a rocket that looks like this and we finish it to have the appearance we desire. We're going to need certain materials. We're going to need sandpaper to have a nice smooth finish. We're going to need spray paint. Any good interior, exterior enamel spray paint will work fine. And we're going to need tape and newspaper to mask off the surfaces to control where we want the paint to go and where we don't want the paint to go. The first step in preparing the rocket to be painted is to sand it. Roughen up the surface just lightly so that it's ready to be painted. Okay? The next step is to cover it with a primer. A primer paint is a paint used to prepare the surface to hold it so that it holds the paint on well. This is painted with a white sandable primer. And the next step after that is to just, again, lightly sand the surface, especially the fins where there's wood, so you have a nice smooth finish to paint onto. When you paint, you should be careful with surface preparation, which is the sanding and cleaning. You should also be careful with the technique you use. Before you do any painting, be sure to lay down some newspaper to protect the surfaces. Not all the spray paint is going to go onto the rocket. There is overspray, and that's what you're protecting from. We recommend you do this outside for ventilation. You could use gloves to keep the paint off your hands, and even a dust mask or a mask to keep the paint out of your lungs. But the best thing to do is use it in a very well ventilated area, like outside. Even then, you want to lay down a, a newspaper to protect the surface you're painting on. Now this rocket has been painted with a single base coat of, your, of a paint. Pick the color you want the major portion of your rocket to be and spray paint the entire rocket that color. There's some techniques to spraying with spray paint. First off, you don't want to spray inside the launch lug or on the shoulder of the nose cone. The nose cone's got to be able to slide easily in and out of the tube, and the launch rod has got to be able to slide in and out of the launch lug. You want to shake up your spray paint so the little ball you hear rattling inside moves freely. And you want to keep it that way. That means the paint is well mixed and ready to spray. You want to use a smooth motion. Now you can spray up and down or side to side. But one of the important things is you want to have a smooth motion that starts beyond one end and goes beyond the other before you change direction. Now, you're not going to be able to completely paint your rocket with one coat. You want one thin coat, probably another one or two thin coats after that. With spray painting, it's always better to use thin coats and multiple layers than one big, thick coat, because what you'll end up with is runs and drips and not a very good-looking rocket. Now, this rocket is all in red, but I like to have my rockets have multiple colors. So I'm going to mask off the fins so I can paint them blue. Now, what you do is you take your masking tape and you run it along the edge of the fin right where the fin meets the body tube. And make sure you get a good seal with that piece of tape right where it meets the body. Do that at the base where it meets the body. Take another piece of masking tape, run it along the top of the fins so that the top collar is going to stay the same color as the rest of the rocket. The last step, because all of this rocket is not going to be blue, we take and roll a newspaper over it. I came with one already rolled. And we tape it on, sealing the bottom, so there's no chance of overspray getting onto that tube. Now we're ready to 
spray paint the fins. Again, make sure your paint is well mixed. Hold the spray can at 6 to 12 inches away from the rocket and spray back and forth. Do that on all four sides of the rocket. Set it off to dry. And after the drying period, that will be on the directions of the can, come back and smooth it out, put a second coat on. Now you're ready to fly.